After the war of taxi and uh, shared ride services, on-demand services, and the war on mobile payment systems, there's still yet another ongoing war between bike sharing companies, that is. To say that this has escalated quickly is quite the understatement. This picture I've taken somewhere last year. These bikes started appearing around March 2016. But then this is what this has gotten into over the last year. Right now, the number of bikes of these uh, bike sharing apps for this year is a mind blowing 17 million bikes on the road just in China. With both major players, Ofo and Mobike combined, are estimated of building 30 million new bikes this year alone. Up until a few days ago, I would run into the most bizarre situations where you literally couldn't walk because of the crazy amounts of bikes parked. There's places like big subway stations and big malls where things have gotten so bizarre that there's thousands of bikes parked on a single location. There's also the more remote areas where you suddenly run into hundreds of parked mobikes or ofos. In many cities where you can find bike rental services, most of them use assigned locations to pick up and park your bike, the so-called docks or stations. Typically these stations are not around where you would want to go. Chinese bike sharing startups have found a solution to this. You can park most of the rental bikes anywhere around town where you're allowed to park bikes within the white lines. As so it happens, this basically means on every street corner. As a result, you can find rainbows of colorful parked bikes all over town and the streets of China have literally become a battlefield for the most colorful bikes you've ever seen. First there's Ofo. Ofo started off in late 2014 by providing bike rental services on universities and campuses. They're pretty much the pioneer in this game and even they've started their services just over two years ago. Their bikes are as yellow as yellow gets and I've seen them available in many major cities all across China. They're pretty hard to miss. Apple-backed taxi sharing service Didi as well as tech giant Xiaomi are both major investors in Ofo since late 2016 as well as more recent investments by Alibaba's investment company and finances. But in late 2015, one of Uber China's ex-employees founded Mobike, another bike sharing service that's doing things a bit different. Backed by companies like Tencent, Mobike quickly found massive funding to start bombarding Chinese cities with their orange-silver colored bikes. Mobike acted quickly, actually having many streets filled with their bikes before Ofo touched ground in China's inner cities and was still mainly focused on universities. Let's first look at what attracts these millions of Chinese users to jump on the bike so massively. First there's the ease of use. It's an app based system and there's pretty low registration fees and they're very simple to use. Just scan the QR code and hop on the bike. The pricing between competitors may range between 1 cents and 15 cents per ride and uh, all of these parties are giving away many free rides and coupons as well. These bikes are everywhere, like literally everywhere. There's so many bikes around town and people riding the bikes that they pretty much advertise themselves. Giving away gifts, coupons and free rides. Hongbaos. That's how you win the hearts of millions. Let's look at the more technical part of the bike sharing apps and how this system actually works. Most of these bikes are equipped with 3G and GPS allowing you to locate the bike on a app. Most of these bike sharing companies have their own app, but they're also integrated into WeChat and Alipay directly. And it's super simple, just scanning the QR code that's actually on the bike or typing in the bike's number in the app will unlock the bike and allow you to use it. As with anything that popular, even Mobike and Ofo's got some competition. There's three different brands of blue, very blue bikes, and then there's the green ones. And besides all of these, there's even more startups trying to get a bit of the bike sharing action. But none seem to win the ground as rapidly as Ofo and Mobike have been doing with their major investment rounds. And uh, when you have the big boys like Alibaba and the Tencent choosing sides, you know things are getting very real. There's actually so much more to this story, but I might do that in a different video if you guys are interested. Right now it's uh, just the wild wild west of bike sharing apps here in China. It's, it's crazy, they're coming to different places, they're coming to different cities, they're coming to different countries. So I'm sure that this story is to be continued 
for now, let's focus on the next big hype, which is going to be shared umbrella services. Say what now? Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.